Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Right, right. I understand. You can't do it until the snow melts. Well, that'll be a while, but I got to go. It's time for me to go to do the show. All right, bye. Hey, welcome back to Discovery Ranch. I'm Mr. Dawson, and I'm here to take you on some adventures around the ranch so you can learn how to read and write. Join me here each day so we can learn new things. And why would we want to learn how to uh, learn new things? Well, of course, to read and write, but also... If you write to me and tell me the things that you learned, I will send you an activity book. That's right. I will send you an activity book. Just write it uh, and write to me write and send it to Valley PBS right at this address and I will send you an activity book. All right. So let's get started so you can tell me something in a letter. Let's review all of our letters. Now, yesterday I did it kind of fast and I felt bad. So today I'm going to try to slow it down so that you can have a good time reviewing them and keeping these letters and phonemes fresh in your brain. Here we go. C, camel, K. H, hippo, F, fire, R, rose, er. P, piano, p. E, eh, uh, egg, eh. Wow. K, koala, k. U, umbrella, uh. A, apple, a. Ah. D, dolphin, d. L, lemon, o. B, bat, b. T, turtle, t. We're going to stop there because I want to talk about our letter that we started yesterday. Do you remember our letter? Right, it's the letter G. Remember, there's an uppercase G, and then there's a lowercase G. And the phoneme for G is G. So it goes like this, G, guitar, G. Now, we're gonna take a look at some pictures and find which picture has G is for G at the very beginning. Are you ready? Just like on this one right here for gate, g, g, gate, they put G because G is for G. Let's take a look at this one. What is that? That's a gorilla. Can you say gorilla? Gorilla. Listen to the very first sound, g, g, gorilla. Now, is that have G is for G? Yes, so guess what? I'm going to put a G there. Why? Because the very first sound was G, and G is for G. All right, let's take a look at the next one. This is a gift, gift. Think about that. Do you hear the G at the very beginning? G, G, yes, G. So G is for G, so I will write the letter G here. And remember, that is a monkey letter, so I have to go below the line to put that hook. There you go. Okay, let's take a look at the next picture. What is this? This is a goat. Can you say goat? So I'm gonna listen to the word goat. Goat, g, 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 yes, g is for G. So I'm going to put that lowercase g there. Go below the line. There you go. Let's keep going. What about this one? What is this? Umbrella. 
umbrella. Uh, uh. No, that doesn't have g on it, so I'm not going to put anything on that one. Let's go to the next picture. Guitar, guitar, g, g, get, definitely. That had g at the very beginning, so I am going to put g is for G. Wow. All right. You guys are helping me so nicely on these. Okay, let's look at this one. What is this? Right, girl. Okay, let's listen to it and see if it has that g sound at the very beginning. G, g, girl, g. It does. So I have to put a G because g is for G. All right, last one. Last one. Let's look at it. This is a book. Book. Can you say book? Book. B. B. Book. No, that doesn't have g. That has b. That's a different letter. Well, it looks like we're all done with that. That is so awesome. All right. So what should we do now? What? Right, right. Daily funny make awareness. All right, remember that we have been practicing uh, sounding out words and getting their phonemes and putting them on the board, the letter, the right letters. Okay, so the word that we're going to do today is box, box. Are you ready for box? All right, get those hands up, get those hands up. Remember, we got to go slow motion slow so that we can get all the phonemes, are you ready? Get that hand up. Here we go. Go. Box. How many phonemes? Right. It was three phonemes. What was the first phoneme? B. Right. What was the middle phoneme? Ah. And what was the ending phoneme? X. All right. So. All we have to do is find those phonemes and put them in the right place. So what was the beginning phoneme? B. B is for B, right. So I'm going to get the B, and I'm going to put it right here. What was the middle phoneme? Ah. Ah is for O, right. Oh, it's being stubborn. Okay, so I'm going to put it right there. And then what was the last phoneme? X, right, X, X is for X. That is so cool. Right there, look. So I'm going to put the X right there. Let's see if we did it. Let's blend it now. Box, box, box. We did it. That is so cool. You guys are getting so amazing at segmenting, finding those phonemes, and putting the letters that go with those phonemes. You are amazing. Keep up the good work. All right. So let's stop there. And what I want to do is talk about our sight words. Are you ready to talk about our sight words? Well, let's go over here to our sight words. Let's look at them. Do you remember this word? Yes, this is the word was. Can you say was? Let's spell was. W-A-S spells was. Was. Let's do this one now. Do you remember that word? Right. It's the word for. F-O-R spells for. And like I've been saying, when you take these words and we put them in our brain and we remember them in our brain, when we see these words, we can read them. And if somebody asks us to write these words, we can say, oh, we can do that because I remember them right up here in my brain. Yes. Isn't that a good thing? Now, usually I would be talking about proper nouns right here. But as you can see, there's nothing there. So where is that proper noun stuff? Oh, it's right over here. I'm going to do it over here today. Look right here what I have. Oh, I have a word right here. But first, I want to put a yellow piece of paper. And then I'm going to put a word right up here. Look at this word. 
It's the word park. Can you say park? Yes. But look, it's lowercase. Why is that? Because it's just a regular noun. It's, right now, it's a regular noun. But we want to talk about proper nouns. And remember, a proper noun is a noun that has a name. So, for instance, if I was talking just about a regular park, that would be great. But if I had a park with a name on it, like mm, if I had Woodward Park, look at that. All of a sudden, guess what I have to do? That's right. The first letter of each name has to be uppercase. Wood, word, and then I'm going to do park. But now, because it's the name of a park, I have to put it uppercase. Why is that? Because I'm talking about a specific park, and because I'm talking about the name of a, a specific park, park, I had to put uppercase letters. Because if it's a name of something, I have to make it uppercase. Just like if I had a park, it would be Dawson. And then I'd say park, but it has to be uppercase because it's part of the name. Do you see that? Proper nouns. Nouns that have a name. Well, let's end up talking about our passages that we did yesterday. Remember yesterday we were looking for the letter G, and we found a lot of letter Gs in this. Do you remember that? And remember that G is for G. Let's read it. Get the bug. Sam can see a bug on the rug. Dad can get the bug. Dad can set it on a deck. The bug is in the hot sun. Whoa. Well, the first thing I want to do for sure is see if you can find a proper noun in this passage. Remember, it's a name of somebody or something or some place, it's got to be the name of something. Okay, so, yes. Whoa, that's pretty amazing. You got it so quickly. Yes, here's the uppercase letter for Sam. Sam is the name of dad. This is dad. Dad is just any, any dad. But when we're talking about this person, Sam, says Sam's dad, or yeah, Sam's dad. Here's Sam, and we're going to do uppercase because Sam is the name of the son, actually. That's right. So uppercase, proper nouns. If it's a name of something, we always make it uppercase. Well, that's all we have time for today. I hope that you come tomorrow so we can learn some more. I'm so excited to be here with you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. A brand new day, time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun, learning is good for everyone.